just got knocked the rust off of that, man. Just the fuel. Have we got fuel? Well, this one's supposedly all mine. Oh, that's not even enough. You clutch, you clutch. Back time, Hank. Welcome to Hamiltonville Farm. I got Wiley with me, Jay. What's up? Hey, you know what this reminds me of? What? When he was in the woods eating potted meat and the gnats were coming. You, uh, you uh, had to have a crack, you wouldn't have a spoon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'd be looking the gnats, is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah. Gnats on the potted meat and you eat them. The gnats. The gnats are horrible yeah. here. But anyway, those are good. They're protein. Yeah, that's right. I made that potted meat a little crunchy. Ooh, it looked like pepper on there, didn't it? Mm -hmm. Hey, we're at this mo uh, U, is U model, R model? No, that's R model. Auto R model Max. My sister next to it's a U. Yeah, this this one's a U model. And uh, we got Drew with us. So we actually came out here and... Uh, shopping. Shopping. Did an excavator video. If you haven't seen that one, I'll leave it linked up over here. But, uh, so the story behind this one is uh, the gentleman drove it back from Louisiana, brand new, and uh, uh, it developed a leak in the fuel tank. And uh, hey, girl, and uh, and this is where it ended up parked. So we're going to try to see if we can't ble maybe bleed the injectors and and actually steal the fuel pump off of it because you need a fuel pump for your. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna we're gonna try to bleed the injectors, get it primed back up, get this thing running, and see what's up. So let's take a look at it first, though. It's right. What are you doing? Oh, it's an '87, Drew. Family. Yes, sir. I think it's the same year my mom is. Mine's got an eight low low. Jumping. It looks a lot better than mine, though, I tell you. But a dump truck lives a hard life. Yeah. Uh, the cat is way look better. It is a R6. Yep. This thing's in nice shape. But he did tell you that he bought it brand new. Uh, inspection on it. It's a nine years. Ten years. Yeah, it's in good shape. What, what year? Truck. Uh, 87, I believe. 87? Yeah. I cheated off this tank over here. Oh, okay. Yeah, that'll work. Oh, so let's take a look at the, the innards. And this is a this is a thoroughbred here. This is all Mac. All right. See what the what what's the transmission? Is it a nine speed or is it a six speed? Uh, I'm not sure. Okay. Let me run through oh, the gears. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. I cracked myself. Man, got a gearbox in this truck, Mr. Adams. Got a, a key speed. in it, Wiley. Yes, nine speed, is, but right. one of them is backwards, so, okay? Okay. Uh, it's backwards, and it, uh, when you come out of low, you have to go back over into to the, to what would be the third, okay, in the top right, then bring it back over. Over half a million Crazy, miles. That's the way it is. <laughs> five, 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 eight, 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 six, eight, four eight, on the miles. This is mine's eight low lows. That is a pretty yeah. build at all. Good, good stuff. That's a nice looking truck. And, uh, fuel, Everything's for sale. And gold, uh, I'll leave my email. Hank at HamiltonVilleFarm.com. Thanks, Wiley. <laughs> Hank at HamiltonVilleFarm.com. Uh, if you're interested in it, it's an 82-ish Mac, half million miles on it. All right, let's fire this tank up. The other tank, I think the other tank over had a, had a little pinhole when it leaked. So, uh. <laughs> the bleeder right there. Let's see if we've got something to go down there. Yeah, that hold that filter out there. Yeah, I just hold that filter. Because if there's a bleeder, we can put air through there instead of taking it off. And then we'll leave it there's no fuel filter over there, but it's probably the return. Uh, well, Here's your yeah, fuel, your fuel filters on this side. I got that much of it. That's oil filters over there. Right. Okay. I imagine it's a big one. Yes, sir. Yeah. Well, this is a big Bosch pump, isn't it? Hey, back. Hey, back. I'm back. I use this one when we were in the. Louisiana, I worked with FEMA out there and the Corps Engineers. Yes, and sir. We did that, uh, a lot of cleanup out there for them. Then, well, they also worked with the Sewage and Water Board. FEMA ran to maintain their canal for them after we got to the FEMA. It's paid for itself, too, Adam. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. It will. It ain't as pretty as this one. You, uh, have you Take checked all in it? I have not. Uh, 
Yeah, that one, that part, that one, I just gave you, we never even tried to crank it since then, though. Oh, yeah. yeah oh, he's cool. making all that. Yeah. 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 For long, I think it's about $6, Yeah, that's right. You can order off the dollar menu before you know it. Next time we go to McDonald's, you can buy me lunch. That's right. Hey, that was a good deal the last time. I sure needed you that day. <laughs> all right, so... That's kind of like the oil bath stuff right here, ain't no, it? No, that's the power steering. Fluid. Power steering. Ah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. And so. Reservoir. All right. What that is. So you want to. Uh, you want to check the water? Yeah. While you're up there? Yeah. While, you, while you're close? Yeah. Oh. And let's see how limber I can get get up here. I might be close to you. There you are. Simon, you see anybody in there? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it ain't finger deep. Let's see if they can see it, eh? Yeah, they might can see it, you can't. You got a filter in there? Yeah. Oh, we got some in there. Okay. Yeah. We're in good shape. We're in good shape. So, Drew, what's this right here? That's the heater core. And block it off in the summertime, keep that hot air circulating. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Yeah. All right, cool. This filter over here is easy to get to. to I got a, um, yeah, I got a filter wrench. Hold on a sec. I can crack this one open and somebody prop front, pump that front filter and I'll see if fuel All right. Out. Yeah, that'll work. <laughs> There's a fuel filter over there too. That's water. That's return. Wait a minute. Uh oh. I had a filter wrench. Yeah, two fuel filters right. are here. That's water. I might be, need to be doing some yeah. <clears throat> repair. Yeah. In all your years, uh, Mr. Wiley, how many air dryers have you changed? Uh, we usually run them and junk them before it ever. I've heard of people changing them. I mean, I, I guess they're. Air got hey. wet. <laughs> my, well, my, have you ever heard of a truck leaking or getting water in the air, like uh, from a bad gasket in the compressor? Yeah. I don't think I have. I got international with 530 DT 530, and the, I'll drain the tanks and I'll crank it up and let it run, for, run it for a day, and the tanks will be full of water every time. No water in the oil, no water in the fuel. But I think it's leaking, and it's losing water. It's losing coolant, you know? All right. That water's going in the air somehow. I, I put a new air governor on it. That water just, that air just stays so wet. You, you know that ain't good for your brakes and all. Some of these Max has a gold dog on the hood. Right. Dad, I, you, I read what that was. I think that is all Mac. The gold dog is? Yeah, something about it. I just spray painted mine. Gold, yeah. Same difference, right, Wally? Well, I guess so. Well, this one's supposedly all mine, and this has got a silver dog well, up there. I don't know. This got to eat the transmission. When you get up in there and look at that tag, I bet it's a heat. Little girl, it's a Drew. Hey, that, that's not. That's a water filter. Yeah, that's that's the water. Is that on the fuel filter on this side? That's a water filter mm -hmm. there. Cool. Oh, your, is the fuel filter on your side? Yeah. Oh, what am I doing on this side? I thought that was. Oh. Uh, did, did you go to the Hank Hamilton School of Mechanics? <laughs> All right. What he said is just got a uh, pinhole leak in it. Pinhole leak, and there's a tank. Have we checked the fuel? Have we got fuel? I, I mean, I've got a five-gallon bucket with me. I haven't checked the fuel in the tanks. Yeah. We get nowhere in a hurry. Look at here. Customize. Oh yeah. Hey. Oh yeah. We... That gum, if he didn't pay but dollar twenty-seven a gallon for his stuff. Right, you what about it? the other one? Let's check the other one. I think the other one he just not hooked up. Okay, Every, he's got everything coming to this one. Okay. I believe I, believe I did hear that. Okay. okay. Now we're on the same page. Alright. Alright. Right. You wanna uh you want to at least put some batteries on it just to crank it to see? Or do you want to start cracking injectors? Well, uh, you got fuel? Yeah. All right. No, give me loosen that one, you can pump that. Yeah. Oh, this girl. You okay, let me, get, let me get my primer pump, see if it's pumping. Hey, 
do something like it. Uh, that's a lot since I food with these. Mine's set up different. Yeah. Oh. Oh. What you looking for? What you looking for, boss man? Cora. When's the last time you had some ice cream, girl? <laughs> Daddy needs to buy you some ice cream, don't he? Oh, that's not even enough. What's he doing over there? I thought there was a bleeder on here somewhere, but I don't think it is. These bolts are holding the filter out of the mouth. Yeah. Hey, but uh, right here, that's yeah. the last filter pull coming in. Yeah. Well, I said there's a primer pump. I don't see it yet. Um, if there was, you could pump it a few times, and that would give you the guarantee. Hey, if you was getting up here. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Look at that. Got your primer pump. It's blocking the side of the injection pump. Oh, I bet that's it. Oh, they twist it and then it's spring and there's spring underneath. Yeah, that'll do it. Put some twigs on there. All right. Wow. Where's your inch? Four sizes. Four sizes. That's not enough. Oh, that's a screw on filter there. All right. Double corner. Is that not good? You need a belt and a ratchet. Yeah. A belt and a ratchet. How about yeah, that? I got several filter wrenches in the back of my truck. You do? Yeah. Are they bigger than one that I got? Likely. Probably. I can almost guarantee that. Yeah. But it's about 200 yards down there. <laughs> you want me to give you a little bit? I'll pull the whole thing down. I see. Let me. I see why I have like five filter wrenches in the back. Not look, look, let's just take your wrench, let's let's put some battery in it, spin it over, give it just a tad of ether, and see if we can build the fuel up. Alright. I like the way you operate for a while. You for high. So Hank went wah, wah about the batteries. Basically, every video I see is Wiley fixing on something. Hank saying, "Alright, battery." Let me out. Let me out. Run off in the woods. Two. Might not even need two. Two it is. <laughs> Just because I got this right. second crack. Quit. Quit. I think you better masters over there in the blazing hot heat. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Can you put a wrench on that and what we think is big at the bottom of that? You probably don't have a big one. Uh, yeah. Right here? Yeah, that big, the big one's facing out. Oh, that, so that's a spring. Yeah, it's probably a spring. When you twist it out, it'll probably just pop out and just pump it. Oh no! Oh, I don't. No, no, I don't think so. No, we it'll have a it would have a mounted right for it, the. It would have like almost like one like a plunger, like a cat. Yeah. That's too shallow. Is what you're saying? Yeah. I see them for they screw in. You push them in and uh, screw. That on. one don't. That one won't have. We literally just took it off the mag. Uh, Hold that up, man. I'm not going to. Man, I'm a grown man. Quit telling me what to do. <laughs> Damn. About aggravating right there now. Y'all never come up soon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He don't bring me flowers <laughs> anymore. Yes, yes, you're absolutely right. Sweetie. Are we sure that's the the, the ground? No, we're not. Oh, you don't need to touch it, see? Well, you can touch it. <laughs> there you go. You had a fifty percent chance of getting it right, and you scored. He shoots. He scores. Uh, yeah, that's right. All right. All right, let me go get the cobbling kit. I've seen a bunch of cobbling kit right here. I did too, somewhere. There's a big one there. Right. Yeah, I'm trying off. 
I don't know, I was about to grab, I had yeah. some big all. He got some, he had. Brings a good load. It ain't fun, it's behind the scenes. There's another battery box. Now, hey, uh, who, who'd you say uh, that kit came through there? Uh, 12voltguy.com. That's right. Yeah, I, I um, had to order mine. And, uh, what are you doing, Dad? I think it switched on now. I surprised it just didn't crank. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just going on. Yeah, I saw that. Uh, nine sixteenths. And a half inch. Yeah. And a five eighths. You gotta have them all with this. I one. know that's crazy. Man. Yeah. Is it showing it? All right. Yeah. Yeah. I got one light. I got one little light on this while. Oh, okay. My low air light. Is there an air compressor on there? I mean, an a AC compressor on this thing? Uh, That's the only thing missing in mine. What do they call them? This would be what, 2 by 60 a AC? <laughs> two, by, 2 by 55. Yeah. Mine's got the evaporator and the and all that, just missing the compressor. The good thing about these mics though, everything's right here, you can unbolt it all. The blower motor, the evaporator, and all take it in and out. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to make the video longer. What? <laughs> no wonder they invite you to the... <laughs> Give at the seminar to tell them how to <laughs> prolong the agony. Uh, Ethan? No. Nope. I'm gonna get it over here. I hear a little old girl over having a good time. She is. Somebody's got the throttle there. She's got a filter in here. Wow. A what? Brand new filter here. If y'all want to swap it. <laughs> No, I think we're fuel good. filter. Brand new fuel filter. If y'all pull one off, might as well put a new one. No, we didn't take that one off. That we'll set. Way. We'll set here just in case we need it. That looks like the. That don't look like the same, does it? No way. That's probably that one. Okay, Drew. See if it'll spin. Oh, here you go. You're gonna need this. Tell me when. That's okay. Number just one and two. On. Them sixteenth. Yeah, no. no, that's three quarter. I took them off. Oh, I appreciate you trying to correct me, though. <laughs> uh, correct myself. It just, there's a reason, ain't there? <laughs> no, you, I thought you was. It was running pretty good. I, I was. The front was pulled out a little bit, but I plugged it in. Okay. Well, we got fuel to the pump. All right, come on. I do it, Drew.
It's amazing how little it takes to excite somebody. <laughs> no, no, we cracked open that one or two and take it on. Yeah. We love those mags. What's that front? What's that front corner of that table? That corner, what's that corner? Did you log or did you just pull some logs in one time?
What's that front? What's that front corner of that table? That corner, watch that corner.
we had a over in Louisiana, Louisiana, Alabama, I was going over there. 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 You probably drag you probably dragging a brake a little bit. Them, 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 they were, Here, I'm gonna hold this. Okay? Oh, yeah, they all broke free and I mean, it felt good. Yeah, it was okay. Brakes felt good. It was kinda like the clutch might be sticking a little bit and run a little rough like it had them. Yeah, it sounds like brakes. Yeah, but uh man, this is a straight truck though. I think it needed a little bit of junk in the fuel tank when we got down there and swashed the ground with it. <laughs> Yeah, it ran <laughs> down there and it did come back. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to, I smell that. I want to stop real quick yeah. and find out yeah, what it was. It's yeah. slick. This is a smooth truck. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Uh. It's 5,000 miles on, on a rig like this, uh, right? Huh? 55,000 original miles. I, I, thought, one I, said, on truck. I thought I said. 555. Yeah, it all depends yeah. if you're buying or selling, Hank. That's right. <laughs> I could have sworn I saw six, six digits. This looks like it's all good. Well, I'll tell you one thing. That's the best looking camera person we ever had right there. That's <laughs> fair. From that. Yeah. Hey. That is the best. She, she got it from her mama's office. Oh, I, mean, I promise she, you. Um, is this truck for selling, Mr. Adams? Yeah. It looks like it has them. Yeah, it sounds like brakes. Yeah, but, uh, man, this is a straight truck, though. I think you need a little bit of junk in the fuel tank when we got down there and sloshed around with it. <laughs> <laughs> ran down there and it did come back. Yeah, yeah. Sir. yeah. <laughs> I just yeah. I smelled it. I want to stop real quick and find out. Yeah. Because this truck might be the. It ain't hot. I'm just knocking them rust off of it. Because uh, down there it, it did good. I think it's starting to run a little rough too, like with my sloshing. Yeah, I think so. Some trash around in the tank. Yeah. Well, let's see if we can't put this in the barn and we'll rip those batteries off. And well, let's let Wiley do it, but he's got uh, two legs and what have you. Yeah. Old and oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Now, you always got an excuse. You have to yeah, yeah, use that one leg as an excuse, Drew. Yeah, I hear five, you. Five, five, five or six days <laughs> yeah. a week, I don't stop that uh, 14 tire rolling down the highway and that's right, it's a dump truck. Come up, anybody that knew anything about getting up, the transmission on the thing works. Oh, no, I, I have it. Might have to get in a little bit. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah. oh, the massive. <laughs> If you're interested in it, I think he said he wanted 6500 for it. Um, so, if you're interested in that truck, $6,500. Hank at HamiltonvilleFarm.com. It's located in Bainbridge, Georgia. Let's go get the batteries off this thing. And, but if you want me and Wiley to autograph it, it'd be $7,000.
sometimes I crack myself up. <laughs> oh. Or or do you take do you take money off of it if me and Wiley sign it? <laughs> Is that the case, Wiley? And we ought to believe that's the clutch that was that was smoking. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I don't know why. Unless it was uh but I seen the smoke y'all was talking about. Yeah. In there. I could smell it. I could smell it. You can smell it. Yeah, and it wasn't Drew. <laughs> you smell it. wasn't you or Drew. Hold on, it's got two nuts on there. Good job, Will. Well, you should have got them already. Here. Hand in the back. Oh. Did you pull the truck any further away? <laughs> I knew you were carrying the battery, so I parked it far away. So we'll get these off and put the batteries back on it and I mean batteries back in the truck and so it probably needs a definitely needs a fuel a fuel system clean. New filters, fuel's flushed out and all that good stuff. And it's got a either the clutch is you just gotta knock the rust off it I imagine. Been sitting a while. So but because when we first got out, I thought, well, maybe that's the brakes, but it does smell like the clutch. Just go in our cobbling kit. Well, we got a... You see in the back, way back there in the back, there's an excavator. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. It's really cool. Yeah, ask, uh, see if you can answer us a question we have on that video, too. Yeah, so, Wiley, what we eating, buddy? Mexican? Zaxby's? I'm tired of Mexican. Every time you always eat it, Mexican. You tired of it? We had a buddy who bought us a Mexican meal yesterday. Yeah? Thanks a lot to Mr. Adams for uh, letting us come up here and wrench on this stuff. And what was the guy's name? Give him a shout out for buying lunch. You remember his name? Oh, Rob. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Rob took us to lunch the other day. So, Rob, yeah. thanks for that, buddy. Yeah. We appreciate it. So, checks in the mail. Checks in the mail. So, Hank was so happy yesterday. <laughs> That's right. Rob, you just don't know how you made him happy, which made Gina happy. <laughs> That's it right. Trickle. It's a trickle down the trickle, check. Trickle down. Trickle down. And, uh, big beans, you know. But I think Usually me and Simon have to split a plate. <laughs> During happy hour. Yeah. <laughs> she went this way. Yeah, she, went. she went that way. I thought was good. Cora. Yeah. She's over there investigating. She might find something. I know. That's what I'm afraid of. Cora. Yeah. So we, uh, anyway, we're going to get down the road. He's going to chase his daughter somewhere, and we're going to get down and grab a bite to eat. What do you think? Yeah, I'm ready. Thanks, Mr. Adams. Appreciate you, sir. Yeah. Uh, so give me an email if you want any of this stuff. You guys take care. God bless. We'll catch you on the next one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, Can you say hey? Tell everybody thanks for watching. Can you say thanks for watching? Remember, don't be Hank. <laughs>